we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Some uh, serious organization happening. Well, I'm going to use our Luca for the first time to try and clean the bottom of the boat since it's hurting. And, uh, do you think it's impacting the speed of all that sailing? Oh, yeah, doing? I think, yeah, all that sailing that we're doing. Uh, well, even that motor, the motor's working really, really hard. So, what I'm going to do is hook this up and we'll see how she goes. So, let's figure out which end is which. There's a short end and a long end. It's fun playing with new toys. We like to joke that we have all the gear and no idea. And that's not far from the truth. Which is this. So what's it called? It's called, well, this one's called a sea breathe, but they're generically known as hookahs. And uh... I thought hookah was something that you, kind of a pipe that you smoked. Yeah, well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that. Like uh, aromatic tobacco or something. Yeah. Um, basically, it's a uh, nah, 12 volt electric compressor, and we hook it up to the main battery. We turn our engine on at the same time, which ain't a bad thing because uh, we need to charge our batteries, but also we'll keep our starter battery from dying. It fills up this reservoir, and uh, yeah, you got a uh, you got a regulator here, and uh, yeah. No air in there right now because it's not connected. So we'll hope for the best. Are you sure you're going to be able to hold that in with your temporary crown? Uh, yeah. So it should be fine. Where'd you get the idea for it? I got the idea from a couple uh, sailing channels. Uh, Patrick Childress, I saw he had one, and uh, Sailing Ran. Mm. They bought one. They okay. bought one in, uh, from the same guy we bought. There's only very few people that uh, make these things. There's one in Australia, and when I was researching. There was one in Abbotsford, British Columbia, which uh, was literally an hour's drive from where we live. So uh, I contacted him and said, hey, can I have one of these things? He said, sure. So, oh, that's the place that we went to pick it up. Yeah. Um, his 95 year old mom uh, was there waiting for us. Yeah, sharp and as a tack. She gave us a, uh, a tour of the massive ranch. That and some free jam. Yeah, and some free jam and some cold drinks for the ride yeah, home. Yeah, she was she lovely. Was a sweetheart. Well, it all looks very interesting. I, um, I'm going to be watching, yep. keeping an eye on it, keeping an eye on you while you're under the boat, and uh, hopefully it won't take too long. Yeah. Too, too, yeah. Her bum won't be too too dirty. Yep. God, it looks like hell putting on a wetsuit in this temperature. Here. Yeah. Sorry, YouTubers. I know the weight belt's supposed to come off with the right hand. Uh, but you're left-handed. Yeah, but I'm left-handed, that's a point. <laughs> you want to do it the safest way possible. Speaking of safety, do you want to get uh, in and get a cool down and then we can talk about sure. what's going on and the safety aspects of it? Sure. So, so what's going to happen is I'm going to put my mask on, I'm going to swim underneath the boat, get a feel for it, and then uh, you're going to turn the engine on and then you're gonna turn the uh, compressor on and we're gonna wait for that to fill up. You're gonna pass me the regulator and throw the hose over the side. And then I'm gonna try and get used to the, uh, the regulator and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so whenever we're doing a boat project, we talked about like what could go wrong and the safety aspects of things. Okay, well, don't put it in gear for one thing. That's big. Um, also, uh, if the compressor goes off or becomes disconnected, 
I'll just come to the surface right away. I'm not going more than we're uh, both got two meter draft, which means I'm not going any lower than two meters. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Do you think that'll do the trick? No. Turn that off for a second. Please. Like, what's going on? But then I asked you. Have you, you got to... air? No, there's no air. There's but no you air. told me to turn it off. I told you to turn off the camcorder. I want to sort out a few things well before we start filming. Don't turn off the oxygen, please. Sorry. It's too hot. The suit's too hot. Mine's I don't know, maybe going for long gone, but this this water's too hot here. So was you overheating? I was overheating. Yeah. I didn't think you could overheat underwater like that. Yeah. So. Well, then you're not going super deep either, right? So it's yeah. going to be pretty warm near the surface. Yeah. So you're just going to go with a swim top instead then? Well, I'm going to see. Yeah, I'm going to try it out. Uh, I'm going to swim around with the, uh, the hood gun with the swim top on. Yeah. And we'll see. Do you want to have him getting those off? Well, it's got to get washed in. It's got to get washed and clean and uh, fresh water. So, What's well, going to be a waste of fresh water, isn't it? No, it's not much. I've got to get it out of it first. <laughs> oh, hey, Deb, could you uh, could you pass me something else to scrape with? I think I'm doing too much damage with this, so I'm going to pass you this. And you're gonna pass me something else. Do you want a string on it? The big plastic thing, no, I'm okay. Okay, I'll grab it. So Pete decided to go down and clean the hole just as the winds are picking up and to about 15, 17 knot gusts, I think. And the sea state is uh, changing with that wind. So it's quite bumpy. Um, I know he really wants to do it, but we might have to reassess. Where are you, my love? Ah, oh, there he is. Maybe you should leave it till tomorrow, honey. Sorry? Maybe you should leave it till tomorrow. <sighs> it's a bit bumpy. I was shouting you. Oh, sorry. I need you to get out, it's too rough. It's not, it's not. Do uh, it, a little filming. Do I want to do some filming? No, I need you to get out. It's too rough, look at it. I don't even know if the anchor's gonna drag. We've not tested the anchor in this wind yet. Well, the dear husband has reconsidered this uh, project for today and decided to delay until tomorrow when it's supposed to be calmer in the morning. So I'm very happy to hear that because I don't really like the thought of him being in any risk of getting bonked on the head by our lovely Galene and um, it would be much better to do it in the calmer conditions tomorrow so all is what's well, all's well that ends well how's your feet? it's a little cold I think so <laughs> it's lovely it is lovely yeah it was uh, certainly worked the hours walk from our anchorage to be at this lovely swim hole just on the very edge of the city. That's the uh, channel that we crossed right there. Huh? That's the channel that we crossed coming over from Havar and that island hopping that we did. Mm. Yeah, I think we might have to come back here again. I think we will. We'll bring our water ship. Well. Yeah, Actually, it's, it's kind of it's hard on the feet, and the feet, I'm, no, I'm noticing that water shoes are not for pussies because, uh, and not just for pussies, because uh, a lot of the guys are wearing them here. Must be fine. It is the perfect little swim hole in the city. There's a stinker of a storm coming in. <laughs> I'm glad we're at uh, this nice anchorage and split.
Okay, see where you're going now. Yeah. <laughs> it just appears from nowhere. Yeah. Turn the bow to bow to bow straight in the bow up. So the empty marina was soon filled to capacity when all the charter boats returned to drop off hopefully satisfied customers and collect new ones. But this also meant that we'd soon have to vacate our spot. Jesus Christ! Your hair dry? I'm not leaving! And they can't make me! The chorus of clanging halyards didn't make for a great sleep that night, but we didn't care, we were safe. Next time on Sail with the Gales. And so when you do open it, well not that you'd want to, but we had to to see what was going on. Like Pete was dry heaving, the whole boat stinks of shit. <laughs> <laughs>